Somebody's going to support you until you support yourself. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Snow Tree Sisery. I'm sitting in a car today. I'm eating all my uh, Chinese food. Because Chinese food that's good is on the other side of the town. So I had to go to the other side of the town, y'all. Chicken fried rice. And these little things and dipping in a little sweet and sour sauce. Mm hmm. I know I'll be out threads. And she said, I'm going to just quit my YouTube channel. Somebody said, why? She said, because I don't got no support. Let me tell y'all something. It's plenty of kids out here. It's plenty of adults out here that don't got no support. It's plenty of single moms out here that don't got no support. They don't got no support. They don't got no support. Do you think they sitting up here letting that dwindle them and deteriorate their life? They probably, you know, going through some type of struggle. But you think they really sitting up here like, woe is me type ish. They might have a moment of woe is me. But you think folks is really sitting around like, no one supports me. Like, no. Nobody's sitting around doing that. Nobody cares until you care. No one's going to show up for you unless you show up for yourself. No one is going to love you unless you love yourself. And y'all know how they say, oh, you got to love yourself first before you can love anybody else. It's so true. Like, I may mention to someone that, hey, I'm going through this. Like, if it comes up in conversation naturally, I'll tell someone. But I'm not, like, at McDonald's outside with a sign or going around begging folks for a dollar because... And the reason why I brought that up is because when I watched Papa Dozier, right? Papa Dozier, he was like, when I drive around and the folk be outside with a sign or whatever, he was like, I might give them a couple dollars, but to be honest, I don't really try to give them nothing. But I'll give to somebody who like, look like they own their ish. And it's so true. Even when you are struggling, if you still make it happen, people are more willing to help you out you know how many people there is out here that truly need support and you're going to say oh i'm gonna quit my youtube channel but sorry i ain't trying to be mean but that's dumb because you have to support your youtube channel you have to show people that you're serious you have to show people that you're confident and whatever that it is you put out i'm ready for you i'm ready for you i'm ready for you see your youtube channel you got to make hundreds of videos for you see any result to think of youtube like be back in the days where people would pick a craft and then like you got to work on it you got to work at it every day it's just like okay look it's just like you a dude and you like i want to be a football player or you like i, I want to be a basketball player what is you doing you is out there you with your coach practicing on practice on practice no i gotta go to practice no i gotta go to practice no i gotta go to practice it's the same thing oh i went to the gym 10 times and i'm supposed to be getting some type of result no no i, I put out 10 videos and nobody's watching my channel how many times did chris Brown sing? i bet you in more than 20 times he go show to show show to show to show concert to concert to concert he about sang them songs up 10 times okay don't be like, oh, I ain't got no support on my YouTube channel. Oh, blah, 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 blah. If you gotta look at YouTube like a craft, not as a money grab. It's not a money grab. It's not a money grab. And everything, everything that y'all expect to be a freaking money grab, like up front, is going to leave quickly. That's why when you're starting entrepreneurship, and you're not getting as many sales or you're just starting out and you don't have customers yet or you don't have clients yet and you don't have the social proof you can't give up you have to find out different tactics different tools different methods of how you can pivot and make the thing pop and make it come true so that you get the audience so you get the volume so you get the traffic that you want and thus get the support that you want y'all feel me you have to support yourself first we're about to be 30 in November. What am I here doing? Supporting myself. So yeah, Papa Doja, he was saying, this select dudes build they self from the ground up. And it's very true. It be select and truly build they self, okay? That's another reason why I don't be going outside looking for no man. Because half of them ain't building they self. You go and you get a lady who has something, who is working with something. 
And not, oh, she's cute. She got a body. And not, oh, she don't have cooking clean. Because, no, that ain't it. Literally, her mentality. Y'all don't look at women's mentality. Every woman is not nice, sweet, friendly, gonna cook, gonna clean, gonna do this, gonna do that for you. She not. Let everybody be screaming for support, support, support. And you had a long month to turn around and show you some fake ass support. I don't have time for that. And built a girl who ain't bought nothing. And then you'd be surprised that she gonna take half of your sh- ish if you actually do marry her. Well, you didn't look at her mentality. You know, with a person that know how to treat people, that know how to talk to people, and know how to treat themselves. That's how you get done dirty. To be told. Because I know you don't want to have the wrong company. You don't want the wrong company. Everybody is not your cup of tea. You are not everybody else's cup of tea. You support yourself by treating yourself nicely. Okay? Support yourself so you can get the right kind of support. Alright? That's my video. <laughs> this your girl, Sultry Accessory.